biggest one in curls. It's a story of a man named Brady who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met this fellow, and they knew that it was much more than a hunt. That this group must somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. Good morning, Ephrata. My name's Avery. And I'm John. Today is Monday, December 17th, Holiday Sock Day. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge of the flag. Please make sure to check the lost and found tables if you are missing anything. The tables will be cleared the 21st of this month. All donatable items will be donated. The Mountaineer Robotics team opened their season on Saturday in Malvern, PA at the Vex Jinglebot Smackdown. The mounts had a very strong showing after seven preliminary rounds. The record was five wins and two losses. They found themselves ranked in fifth place on a field of 31 teams. Unfortunately, they came up short in the corner finals, losing their match 13 to 11. Congratulations, Mountaineer Robotics team, on a strong start to your season. Juniors, your help is needed to play in this year's prom. Everybody has ideas, and we would like to hear them. Stop by room 209, Mrs. Schubert's room at 2:45 on Tuesday, December 18th, if you have any questions. Now over to Habist with the news. President Donald Trump has tweeted his plans to review the case of a U.S. soldier, Matthew Gosselin, charged with murdering of an Afghan civ civilian in 2010. The Army Green Beret ma Major alleges shot someone he described as a suspected Taliban bomb maker during his, his deployment. He was charged with murder last week, alleges he denied. But President Trump has complicated proceeding with his tweet, saying he will now be reviewing the case. Major Gosselin could face death death penalty from our own government heroes, saying he was getting involved in the case at the request of many. And other news, hackers have taken control of printers around the world. It is the latest in a series of such attacks, but this time they say they have the power to destroy the machines. The stunt was first carried out last month when one member claimed to have forced about 50,000 printers to create posters supporting his favorite blogger, PewDiePie. The latest in incident again urges the support of YouTuber, but also calls on victims to improve their security. I've been trying to show that hacking isn't a game or a toy. It can have serious life, real life consequence. The original hacker told BBC, speaking anonymously online. On this day in 1773, a group of Massachusetts colonists disguised as Mohawk Indians board three uh, British tea ships and dumped 342 chests of tea into the harbor. The midnight ra raid, popularity known as the Boston Tea Party, was in protest of the British Parliament's tea Act of 1773, a bill designed to save the vaulting East Indian Company by greatly lowering its tea tax and granting its virtual monopoly on the American tea trade. Now over to the juniors with the lunch. Hello, Ephrata. We are here with uh, the legendary uh, Destiny Goodman. We're here. We have here uh, Ephrata Tech Support, and uh, we got uh, Bosco's stuffed pizza stick with meatballs and sauce. Boneless wings with whole grain roll and margarine. That's not boneless pizza, that's boneless wings right there, man. Fish and cheese on a whole grain roll. Ham and cheese club on that whole grain toast, baby. Chef salad. French fries. Baked beans. Fresh baby carrots or celery and dip. Chilled peaches, fresh fruit, or... Slushy. Thank you.
This weekend in sports, Bowling won 7-0 at Dutch Lanes versus CD, and, the bat and both basketball teams lost versus Hemfield. Today in sports, Bowling is at Dutch Lanes versus E-Town, and both basketball teams face the comments of Penn Manor. Now a word from our sponsors and the thought of the day. It's time to go nuts. For donuts? The homeroom that raises the most money gets a deluxe donut party. December 21st, donuts, hot chocolate, milk, OJ, fruit, bagels, Christmas cookies. It's time to go nuts. Second place also gets a donut party and third even gets high fives from Marza. It's time to go nuts for donuts. Thought of the Day by Marcus Aurelius. It is not death that a man should fear, but he should fear never beginning to live. With that, one should not be afraid to go and experience life. Live to be alive instead of only being. Make this life worthwhile. You get to live it, you get to live it once. So what will you do to live instead of being? Was interested in auditioning or being part of the pit orchestra for the spring musical, the Adams Family School Edition. An additional meeting will be held on this Wednesday, December 19th at 3.30 in the auditorium. At that time, audition packages and song selections for the show will be taught. Auditions, scheduled are, are, sorry, auditions are scheduled for January 7th, 8th, and callbacks January 9th. This week is our Christmas Spirit Week. Let's end 2018 by showing our festive spirit for this wonderful time of the year. Today is Christmas Socks Day. Wear your favorite festive Christmas socks. Tomorrow is Red and Green Day. Wear all your red and green stuff. Wednesday is Christmas Hat Day, so wear a Christmas hat. Thursday is Mr. Marzok's favorite day, Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. And Friday is the night before Christmas Day, so wear your cozy pajamas. Merry Christmas. Are you going to roll credits? <laughs>